Today, I'm reacting to cringy watch TikToks. Or maybe they're not cringy. Maybe it's just about watches. I have no idea. I'm gonna give away five Bright and Pinion watch essential sets to five random people that have commented on this video. It comes with a famous Bright and Pinion cloth and lube and a watch brush that will clean your watch. Comment below now. Right, let's go. Who is this? Nicholas Crown. He looks a bit slick. Actually, he looks like a skinny version of that Chopper Reed guy, that guy with that huge ass cock that was in jail. You've gotta be out of your mind to blow 50K in a watch. I don't give a crap about the watch. It's a savings account that happens to tell the time. Hilarious. I've got my money in a real savings account, you know, with like a bank. And how much money do they pay for that honor? Rates are low right now. I don't know, 1%? Great, so you lose about 4% every year with inflation. Yeah, but it's safe. I break even after appreciation. I get to wear the watch for free. I get guys like you coming up to me all day long and hassling me. And every once in a while, someone's got a good deal. Oh yeah, smart guy? And what do you do then? I go buy another watch. That's the reality of our industry. To be fair, Nicholas or Chopper Reed or whatever the f this guy is called is right. Watches are now more often seen as investments rather than timekeeping devices. Unfortunately, may I add, although you can make a f ton of money buying the right watch for me it is more about the actual history of a watch but yeah the investment side is nice it's a nice safety net if all passions had that safety net it'd be great like banging hookers racing cars i just i don't have any other passions to be fair the market is absolutely booming and in the next couple of years i do not see this changing for a bit i'm a uk boy i'm just trying <laughs> Oh, why? Oh, this is uh... I'm just trying to make it. Oh, I'm an island boy. Oh, I'm a UK boy. Like an island boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm an island boy. I'm a UK boy. Like, what the f is wrong with these guys? Like, when I grew up like a hundred years ago, if you were acting like this, you will be sent into a mental institution. Are you absolutely out of your f mind and by the way that watch is f***ing shit it's worth f all can't even see if the watch actually is legit uh, one thing i know is that the watch is covered with aftermarket bullshit diamonds but what do you expect otherwise from guys that put sticks in their hair hey guys look what i got oh my god oh cardone oh. Let's hear what he has to say. this is crazy okay look i'm not recommending anybody do this yeah Perfection. <laughs> Look, I've been working hard my whole life. I promised I would never spend this much money on anything. Don't do it. Blackface. Gold paddock. 5180, I think. The watch is a big f***ing wow. Cunt Cardone wearing such an incredible masterpiece is actually hurtful. It's actually hurting me. Real estate made this watch possible, not hard work. I would never buy this based on hard work. I got assets to pay for this. Humble boss. 59.80 rose. A watch that is worth today between 350 dollars and $400,000. Watch is insane. But I have to take it off my wish list now. Because he has one. And that breaks my f***ing heart. Because that is one of my favorite watches of all time. F*** you. Humble boss. Humble c***t. The only thing that's humble about you is your f***ing dick. If you want to buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com now. Top 10 luxury watch brands. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Number 10, Zenith. Number nine, Omega. Number eight, Blanc Pen. Number seven, Breggy. What? What is this guy saying? Breggy? Number six, Rolex. Number six, top 10, number six. We wouldn't have the industry that we have today without Rolex, mate. You can't put them on number six. Number five, Gégel de Coutre. Number four, Ah, Lange nah, und nah, 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 nah. Number three, nah, Odema nah. Lange. Number two, Vacheron Consentant. And number one, Patek Philippe. I agree with number three. Number four, no! How can you put AP below Vacheron? Where's FB Journe, you dick? We call the Holy Trinity Patek Philippe, Vacheron Constantin, and out of my PK. It's the Holy Trinity, fact. So you would say that that would be one, two, and three. But to be completely honest, the market wouldn't be the way it is today without Rolex. So I, I, I think Rolex should be fourth in that list. Harry, well done. I like your opinion. I hope this is your opinion. But you're, I'm not sharing the same. H, do you have big chains like this? I don't have a chain, no. I don't. 
What Why sort not? of jewellery do you go for? Sport. Who is that? H. H. He's like a British rapper. He's mixed with Dave and stuff. He's a British rapper. What Why sort not? of jewellery do you nice go watch, for? Though. I like a watch, yeah, I like Got a watch. A Let's watch have a look there. at your watch. Is it a Rolex? Boom. It's an AP. How much would a fat middle-aged man pay for a watch like that? Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> it looks like an AP chronograph. It looks like reference number 26331. In precious metal, it's 150 G's now. Only time I do anything stupid with my money. Ah, there he is again. Is from money coming from the passive income. To find something stupid. Oh, this watch is stupid. What kind of watch is that? Paddock? Yeah. Nice. Jordan Belfort. Basically, they put two alleged scammers in one room here. Live from the prison cell. In a prison for scammers? Alleged scammers? Of course, the biggest one of them all, Jordan Belfort, is wearing a hublot. How much is the watch? Uh, that watch is, you know, there's uh, Come on, 1,300 of these on the planet. It's a, you can't buy this watch. If it's 1,300, it's a 5976. Well, like, how much was it? This watch is probably, today, it's probably 400. Beautiful. It's nice. Yeah. So that it's was... stupid, right? It's ridiculous. Like, I don't do stupid shit. Why is that stupid? That watch increased with more value than your house last year, you dick. That's a 5976. That watch is worth 700,000 dollars today. Keep in mind, last year it was 400,000, like. You have a thousand dollars. What watch do you buy? Hamilton, hundred percent. The best value for your dollar in watches anywhere in the world is Grand Seiko. My respect for Kevin O'Leary went from hi, oh, nice lad, to Cardone levels. Are you all right, Kevin? Grand Seiko, value for money. What are you talking about? You buy a Grand Seiko and you lose half the value of the watch instantly and you call that value for money grant seeker value for money what the is going on with this world hey you want to see what three million dollars looks like check this out this is the patek philippe 6300 g 6300 that's the mac daddy of patek grandmaster chime some would say this is the holy grail of all watches and it's probably the only one you'll ever see on tiktok that's a watch you never see in the wild in 2019 a steel variant of the 6300 was sold for a whooping 31 million million Swiss francs. The most expensive wristwatch sold on auction today. I'm actually f***ing ejaculating out of my f***ing mouth by looking at this. What would you pay me for mine? Yours is the non-ceramic Rolex. What's the date? I'll pay you uh, 10,000. 10,000? Yeah. What would you end up selling it for? I'll put it in the case for 11,000. But the 300 to 400 dollars of it will go to my watchmaker when he services it and cleans cost. it up. Yeah. yeah. So it's like there's not a lot of money in profit wise with this, but this attracts everybody in here. He is correct. Buying and selling a Rolex, there's barely any margin in there. But the time you can turn over a Rolex is massively fast. When I get a Rolex in, I can sell it within five minutes of arrival. I can sell this to trade. I can sell this to an end consumer. It doesn't matter. To make a proper profit, you actually need to turn over loads every single day because the margin on each watch is ridiculously small. You know what? I'll do you one better. Here's three watches under a hundred bucks. The Seiko 659 has a timeless classic look. Approve. And it comes in two colors at Walmart for about 90 bucks. The Timex 80 has a vintage digital vibe and it comes in four colors for 65 bucks. Approve. It's a bit of a rip off of Casio, but you know what? Approve. And for just 40 bucks, we have the Timex Expedition, a rugged outdoorsy watch that comes in a variety of colors depending on your style. Approve. Boring TikTok, but you're absolutely right. Stop playing with us, man. We just checked in with Ralph. <laughs> Is this really necessary? Got big boogers. Yes, sir. I don't go his way, man. Stop playing. Oh. Cardi on my wrist. You ain't know what time it's big boogers. The funny bit is about every single stone on these watches is that they were actually meant for the bin. They weren't good enough. They were shit. That's why they're on your fing wrist. It's fine. Respect it. Do whatever you want. It's your money, not mine. Not my problem. Your problem. Thank but you're showing up on my TikTok feed a bit too much. I just want to see boobs, jumping boobs on my TikTok. <laughs> and nice watches. Not you two weirdos with sticks in their hair. But just to say one thing, it's not Flex wearing watches like that. It's actually quite embarrassing. Guys, it's confirmed. Leo DiCaprio is officially the fourth person in the world to be seen wearing the legendary Tiffany & Co. Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711, one of which recently sold for $6.5 million. Yeah, this was insane. $6.5 million for a 50 grand watch. Let me explain this to you. Patek Philippe and Tiffany have a long-lasting relationship of 100 
170 years. And to celebrate this moment, Patek Philippe and Tiffany brought out a limited edition of 170 pieces of the 5711 model. This stirred up the industry a bit because the 5711 was actually discontinued. The result of this auction had a huge effect on the watch industry, meaning that watches with exactly the same color shot up in price like wildfire. Bunkers. Now I've seen this photo of this gentleman wearing the Tiffany watch, but I couldn't recognize that it was Leonardo DiCaprio, so I had my doubts until I saw him at a basketball game wearing that watch. Man yeah, what the f is this Leo? Are you cheating on Tech Hoyer? I thought you were Tech Hoyer's bitch. I hope you guys are separated because you are one of my favorite all-time actors and I would love to make a collection video about your watches. <coughs> but like, in the past it was only Tech Hoyer, so it was pointless. I gotta get you a new watch, man. That's a piece of consumer electronics. It absolutely is. When you walk in a room with that on your wrist, you're telling everybody I'm 20% off retail. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that eating my mini roll, yeah. That was savage, mate. But we have to give the Apple Watch a little bit more credit. People that would have never worn watches before are wearing Apple Watches. This is basically getting people used to having something on their wrist. The next step is buying a nice strap for their Apple Watch. And then the next step is buying their first normal watch. And then hopefully the next step is buying a luxury watch from Pride and Pinion. This is me, right? I love watching these videos. I could just watch this all day, mate. You know the beginning of the business? This is where I started. This is what I was doing for people. I was servicing and repairing watches before I got into trade. I'm not to think about it. I haven't serviced a watch in so long. And it's actually something I very much miss. But I just simply don't have the time for it anymore. Fuck, I enjoyed that. So we pushing P. The only P we pushing is pristine time pieces. If you could get one of these, Salute. This is legend. I'm, I love it. Fat Joe. You know what it is, right? This is not a watch. This is a piece of jewelry. This is like an armband which features a movement which tells the time. But the armband is made out of single baguette f***ing diamonds. Knowing pristine, the diamonds are f***ing insane. And will probably cost a good bit of two million. Watch-wise, it's probably the cheapest movement you can buy on the market today. But pristine is bringing this out as their own watch, especially made for him. I respect that because this is not aftermarket. This is like making something that didn't exist. Hats off. Looks horrible though. This is the GIA certification for every single diamond. Every single diamond on it. You mean every single diamond has a GI? Every single di Hats off to Fat Joe because Floyd Mayweather would have paid 18 million for this. Every single diamond has certification. Now, let's ask the people that have these iced out Rolexes, right? Where are your f***ing certificates? Because every diamond should have a certificate. No, you don't have them. No, because they weren't good enough to be certified because they were actually supposed to be thrown away. Island boy. Where are your certificates? <laughs> I'm gonna give away five of these to the five funniest comments. So we do the funniest, or the most ridiculous, or the most insane, or the most constructive, just random. I like Island Boys. Ah, here you get a box. Island Boy!